The Kashmir story starts in one of the most remote and barely accessible spots on Earth, the barren mountains of the Himalayas. Here lives the goat whose fleece is known throughout the world as Kashmir. High in the mountains, native hands comb out the soft fleece, and then the raw Kashmir has to be transported by men and beasts, nearly two years' journey from this distant corner of the east to the mills of Scotland. At one stage, an Indian rope railway helps the Kashmir on its way, an arduous, extensive journey before the still raw wool reaches the greener countryside of Scotland, where for nearly 200 years, the knitting industry has led the world. Today, modern factories in Hoyk, Edinburgh and Peebles preserve this tradition. Let us take a quick look inside, where the sound of the modern knitting machines is music to these skilled workers. They come from families who have worked in the industry for generations. They have an inbred pride in their product, which is peculiarly individual to them. Something which, like the fine cashmere thread, is dyed in the wool. This is a plain frame, and it is here that the body of a Scottish cashmere sweater is fully fashioned. An elaborate process applied to every single garment made by the members of the Scottish Cashmere Association. Seaming and linking, where the backs and fronts are joined together, calls for skill. Now, milling, the most delicate process in the whole manufacture. This is what puts into a cashmere sweater its wonderful softness, and it's one of the industry's most skilled jobs. The garments now earn a short rest when they are fitted to wooden shapes, where they will dry naturally in carefully regulated heat to ensure they always keep their shape and size. Scottish cashmere knitwear is not mass-produced, and it is at this point that craftsmanship counts for so much. Craftsmanship inherited from generations back, which puts confidence as well as skill into her hands. This is the individual touch which no machine can replace. Where the scissors left off, the linking machines take over again, and uh, stitch by stitch, the finely shaped necks are bound on. Now buttonholing. Notice how the stitching goes round not once, but twice. Right to the tiniest details, Scottish cashmeres are made to keep their shapes. Incidentally, the highly skilled operators can each put on up to 4,000 buttons a day. At this stage, the sweaters are ready for a series of rigid checks to make sure that no defects have got past. When the ends have been tidied away and sewn in, the garments are ready for pressing, where final shape and sheen is given to every sweater. In the stockroom, all the new designs are sorted and labelled. Rejection awaits any which are not absolutely perfect. These stockrooms are in fact show places in their own right, where colour, texture and fine craftsmanship combine to delight the eye. Twice a year, they are filled with the new season's styles, each one designed and made with meticulous care. Let us now continue our story by example. This elegant woman arriving at Victoria Embankment, just below the Savoy Hotel, is on her way to keep an important appointment. With good taste to match the occasion, she has chosen to wear a cashmere suit. Today, the Scottish Cashmere Association is presenting its new designs in knitwear. And the lady's important appointment is with us. <laughs>